What's up guys, Andre here and today is a special day. Finally, finally, I've launched my course on useful Laravel packages. So if you're new here, Useful Laravel Packages is a course I've been working on for a while, and it is a compilation of the most popular Laravel packages, and I go through examples of how to use them and how to incorporate them into your apps. So it is on a launch sale right now. So if you click on the link below or go to usefullaravelpackages.com, you can pick it up for a nice discount. Also, if you want a few video previews to preview the course before you buy, you can click on the Get a Sample button which will take you to my YouTube playlist here. And I have a bunch of free videos taken straight from the course here, which I plan to continue adding to, to further promote the course. And also if you go to the main landing page here and scroll down here, you can see a list of every single video that's in the course. Just click on this and you'll see a list pop up in a modal. So yeah, launching a premium course has been a goal of mine for the longest time, and I'm glad I was able to accomplish that goal before the end of the year. In fact, if you look at my playlist here and you click on this video, you'll see that I pitched this course to my audience in September of 2018, and it is now December 2019, so it took me over a year to do this. I mean, I didn't work on it for a year. I started working on it after I pitched it. I recorded a few videos and then I sort of just lost interest. And then this summer, I was looking back at my YouTube channel and then I watched this video and I realized I didn't want to be the guy who said he would do something and not follow through. So I pushed forward and continued working on the course and here we are today and it is now launched. So releasing a premium course is a ton of work. I mean, I knew it was going to be hard work, but I didn't expect it to be this much work. So a lot of respect to people who constantly do this and people who have been doing this for years. I also decided to build my own course platform instead of hosting it on a service like Udemy or Padia or Teachable. And I really had to think about this and I'll explain to you why I did it this way. So for Udemy, Udemy does have its pros and cons. Um, a pro being it has a huge audience looking to purchase courses. Another pro is obviously it has a video platform built in already. So all you have to do is upload your content, but it does have its cons as well. One, you have zero control over pricing and they just set it to whatever they want. And oftentimes courses are 10 bucks, which is great for consumers, but not the greatest for sellers. I'm also not a fan of how they handle pirated content or their lack of effort in doing so. There's been so many instances where courses have been ripped off other sites and put on Udemy and it took them forever to take it down. So as for the self-hosted solutions like Teachable or Padia, these are great options as well. And I considered these two. So again, pros are everything's done for you. All you have to do is upload your content. Another pro is that it is self-hosted, so you can just put it on your own domain and maintain your branding. And yeah, they are great options as well. I see a lot of coding YouTubers selling their courses on these platforms. And the third option is to build my own. So let me go through my thought process in deciding on whether to build my own in case you're curious. If you're not, you can just click off this video. So the way I look at it is that there is the business side and there is the developer side. So the business side of me says that what's making me money is not the course platform, but the content. So you should just upload content as quickly as possible. And services like Udemy or Teachable or Padia allow you to do that much quicker. So just use a platform like that. But the developer side of me wants to code it up on my own because I actually enjoy coding and I enjoy the process of creating something. And over the last few months, I feel like I've become more of a content creator than a coder or developer, which is fine. I actually really enjoy making videos. But in the process of creating this course platform, I found that I really enjoyed everything and was really happy doing it. So pros for me personally, I enjoyed myself doing it. Cons, obviously it took longer to get the course out to you guys. I have to worry about so many more things like obviously development, design, marketing, hosting, and all that stuff. And all these other platforms already take care of that for you. Also, I'm not 100% sure yet, but another reason I did it was because I wanted to make another course on how I built a course. I feel like this is a very practical look at building a real life application 
with real users, which a lot of you have actually asked me about. And that was the plan all along. So again, I'm not sure about that yet. I got to see how this course does first and see if it's worth my time. But yeah, that was the initial plan. So as for the course platform, I use what I like to refer as as the GOAT stack. So that would be Laravel, Vue, Tailwind, and a new entry into the GOAT stack is Inertia.js. So if you don't know what Inertia is, it sort of sits in the middle between single page apps and server rendered apps. And like I said, I built my course platform on it and it was a great experience. If you go into the course platform here, you see that it is very snappy. I click between different videos. There's no full page refresh. Also, this was important to me. Most people don't care, but it maintains scroll position here. And that is done for you using Inertia have to worry about that. That's actually a very tricky problem to solve. You can see that it's very snappy here, dashboard, account, just very snappy. So I wasn't sure if I was going to use it for two main reasons. Uh, one, it was still fairly new and I wasn't sure if it was ready for production. And two, there was no server side rendering. So I was a bit worried about SEO. So the fix the SEO part, you can actually mix server rendered blade views and inertia views. So for example, everything in the course platform when you're logged in is inertia, but for marketing, I want this stuff to be server rendered so Google bots can crawl it and I can have good SEO. So these are blade views, which is great. And for my other concern, it's fine. I had no major issues with it. And like I said, I had a great experience. So yeah, definitely check out inertia. Okay, I am rambling on here. Main point of the video, useful Laravel packages is out. Go ahead and get it now at a discounted price. Thank you to all who support me. Even if you don't buy the course, that's cool too. I appreciate you watching these videos. Be on the lookout for more YouTube videos that I used to do before, but haven't had time to do in the last few months. Tailwind rebuilds, view stuff, and I also want to do more inertia stuff. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and buy my course. Okay, thanks. Bye.